Growing carnivorous plants is trending. Plants may be available at area plant sales, but you will likely venture into ordering online. Once you receive your plants, you will need to acclimate them or adjust them to your growing conditions to ensure your plants thrive. Bringing home a plant from a local plant show will be the easiest on the plant. The plant's growing conditions were probably like your setup. Ask the vendor what the conditions were and replicate them. If your goal is to put it in a sunnier location, slowly move the plant to the location over a period of days. Allow the plant to adjust to the new setup. If the plant shows signs of stress, let it recover at the current location before you resume moving it. Some vendors choose to ship potted plants. The seller will place a piece of plastic or tape on the substrate to prevent the substrate from being dislodged. The plant may be covered in a plastic cup and bag to further protect it. The tossing of being shipped, the temperature changes, and the darkness of the box all contribute to the stress that plant experiences. Luckily, plants recover from this process if you slowly acclimate them. Sudden changes in humidity, temperature, and light may damage the plants, so it's important to go slow. Once you receive your plants, carefully remove the packaging. It is normal for a few leaves to turn brown or black and die. Sundews may not be dewy and pitcher plants will not have fluid in their pitchers. Trim off the dead leaves. You can add a splash of distilled water to the pitchers if you want. Thoroughly water the plant's roots with rainwater, distilled water, or reverse osmosis water. Although the plants were grown in a range of different conditions, they are most recently coming from a very humid environment since they were inside a plastic bag. Over the course of a week or so, slowly lower the humidity. This can be accomplished by placing the watered plant back into the plastic bag and slowly opening it by 10 to 20% daily until the bag is fully open. If you have a greenhouse or grow tank and know that it always has a high humidity, for example, 80% or more, this step is not necessary. Timed humidifiers and foggers are good devices to maintain humidity. Hand misting is sporadic and will cause fluctuations, which can slow the acclimation process. Heavy-handed misting is also not good for dew producing plants. Nepenthes and Heliamphora may benefit from it, but would do best in consistently high humidity at the start of acclimation. Many vendors will send plants bare-rooted. This could be to save the buyer money or because some plants are too fragile to be shipped potted. Your plant could have come from a community pot or the seller doesn't have the permits to ship potted plants. Some growers prefer to get plants bare root so they can use their own soil mix. Bare rooted plants need a similar acclimation process to those sent in pots. Once received, pot up the bare root plants immediately. Give them a good watering. They should be kept in very high humidity initially. Placing them in a terrarium or Ziploc bag is a good idea. Plants that are suspended over a shallow water level is another option, but probably will not be sufficient if the ambient humidity is low. Airflow is also important, so you'll need to figure out how to balance high humidity with airflow. Slowly expose them to more light as heat from lights or the sun can be damaging. Leaves should remain rigid and green. If they start to brown or become limp, increase the humidity and keep them in the shade. Never fertilize a stressed plant. Acclimation takes time. Plants may take two to six weeks before they are putting out new leaves. The International Carnivorous Plant Society wants you to be successful with your plants. We welcome growers just getting started all the way through professional scientists. We started an annual World Carnivorous Plant Day to celebrate these spectacular plants. Take a look around our website and you'll find historic documents about carnivorous plants, growing guides, free educational resources, and more. Have questions? Ask. We don't bite. But our plants do.